ah, nothing like having a nice beef steak from Fair Oaks Farm and a nice tall glass of milk from Fair Life. Mm. Pizza, what the hell are you saying, man? You can't be eating that stuff. Yeah, like the animal abuse, don't you know about it? Like, you should maybe do a bit of research. Maybe you should try going vegan or something. Ahoy, you beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel, Mito's Life. And in today's video, I will be going vegan for an entire week. It's not so much a diet, but it's more of like a lifestyle change, right? Because being vegan is a lifestyle. It really is. It goes from everywhere from what you eat to what you wear. So let's hop into meal number one. I do love my meat. I also really like my meat pulled. Like I can't go wrong with a nice pulled pork or a pulled chicken. But yeah, so this dish right here, it's pretty low in calories. So I found these burgers that are chicken burgers. So I have two of those, each of those is 100 calories. And then I found this pasta at the Superstore and it is 25 calories per pack. And then vegan cheese up top. And then I put salsa in there as like a tomato sauce, we'll call it. But yeah, this was super quick and easy to make. last bite here all right so that was the last bite I'm still looking off the plate that was actually really good I could see myself having that on an everyday basis type thing but that's pretty much that <clears throat> my goal for this video is to be showing at least one meal each time I eat like throughout the day so I'm gonna be doing this for seven days as I said but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much gonna wrap up day one. Today is day number two. I'll be 110% honest. Yesterday was pretty hard because, well, I just didn't know what I was doing, but I think today I have a bit more of a game plan to it. I asked my vegan friend if she has any recipes and stuff like that. And then she said most time in the morning, she likes having avocado uh, toast. So while I'm out here looking like a visco girl with my hydro flask and avocado toast and vegan yogurt with fruit, my brother's out here eating stuffed French toast. And how is it? Really good. Yeah, eh? Oh, yeah. Well, that's good to know. So let's hop into this. I'm so excited. bite here so I'll be 100% honest I've never had avocado toast before it was pretty good I don't know if I'd have it again because I don't know how much it's gonna fill me realistically but we'll find out so today I'll bring you guys along to lunch so I'll see you guys then all right, so it is lunchtime, and I will be trying out this right here. I have no idea what it's going to taste like. I don't know what to expect, but I'm going to cook it. We'll see how it tastes, so let's get into it. Kind of just smells like spare rib sauce, so I'm okay with that. So I'm going to weigh out half the bag, most likely. Yeah, I'm going to go half the bag because this whole bag is 1200 calories. So I'm gonna go 150 grams of this and yeah. All right, so I have all of my peppers diced up. We are kind of low on veggies right now. So I'll be going out later this evening to be getting some veggies, but I'm gonna be going in with two of these. It's like the pasta that I went, that I used yesterday. I found these at the superstore. If you guys have a super store near you, you guys can try and find them there. Um, but yeah, they're 25 calories per. So let's get to assembling this. I'm not gonna sit here and lie. The amount of calories for this vegan fake meat, or why did I go like this? 
for this vegan meat is kind of high. Like I have 600 calories worth of meat in here. And if I put chicken breast in here, it would have been like a hundred calories. Tastes kind of good, not gonna lie. That actually tastes really good. I feel like I could have that every day. And I am all done that meal. That was actually pretty good. I think I could have that, like again, even if I'm not vegan, it was like that good. And to be 100, I couldn't tell the difference between real meat and fake meat. I also don't have too much experience with meat. All right, and it is day number three. So today for breakfast, we're having the same type of vibe, you know, the avocado toast, and this time I'm skipping out on the vegan yogurt and just having fruit. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna dive into this while I pretend to look productive answering emails on my iPad. <music> all done my avocado toast is all done i just have some raspberries and blueberries left so let's take these down overall going vegan the first day was terrible like i just did not know what to do but i'm starting to get the hang of it you know i'm just getting creative in the kitchen tossing stuff together do i know if it's gonna work or not no so I'm just preparing dinner right now. I'm making vegan sloppy dregs, so it should be pretty good. And yes, I am aware I will have a lot of leftovers, but that's okay, because I can use it for tomorrow. All right, so today is the next day. I couldn't actually finish everything, so I had some leftovers and that's okay. So we're gonna just heat this up and we're gonna muck it. All right, so from my experience yesterday, I do have to say, I do enjoy the normal sloppy Greggs more, but this one isn't too bad. Definitely tastes pretty similar to it. So let's hop into it. Also, I got myself fork because this thing is packed. done like i do have to say the vegan version is still really good but i do prefer the real meat today is saturday and i started tuesday so today is day number five and i just had a little breakfast action well it was super late it was more like brunch but not the point and for that I had four rice cakes. I, was, I always want to call them crackers, but they're not. So I had four rice cakes and then I mixed some PB2 chocolate with the vegan yogurt and some stevia, mix that all up, toss it on the rice cakes and it was like a little treat, you know? So not that hungry whatsoever right now, but I am gonna go for a little walk. Gotta get my steps in even though it's freezing out. It is currently negative 10, but hey, gotta get those steps in, gotta stay active. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then later tonight, we will be making a little vegan pizza action. All right, so it is nighttime and I'm gonna have my pizza because every night is pizza night. Remember that, that is a fact. So for this, I just literally put peppers and mushrooms and also, vegan cheese that I don't know how I feel about it because it didn't really melt <laughs> but yeah we're gonna just dive into this and hopefully enjoy it I don't know all right and I'm all done dinner I didn't really feel like time lapsing myself but also one huge complaint I'd have with like the vegan diet would be the fact that I feel always hungry because just all the carbs are just ripping right through like I'm ripping right through them and I just never really feel satisfied like last night. Like today I had to reduce my calories by a lot because last night I ended up binging a bit, which isn't good, but still it is what it is. Everyone does it. 
So I just woke up, well, I woke up about 15 minutes ago. It is currently 12.30, so obviously I missed breakfast, but today I'm gonna take you guys along through my full day, because I've been just doing like one meal. But I promise you, I have been eating vegan, like full vegan. And I'm really missing meat, but it is what it is. So I'm gonna just get ready and go for a little morning walk, well, afternoon walk action. So I'm not gonna sit here and lie. It's kind of cold out, if you guys can't notice. But you gotta get those steps in. You gotta, you gotta just move, you know? So I'm gonna just finish up this walk and then I'll see you guys in the kitchen. And we are back home from the walk. And for today's lunch, we will be using the rest of this bag that I opened up a few days ago. And we will be making another little stir fry action. And I'm gonna just toss some veggies in there and this fake meat. And hopefully it's gonna turn out good. So let's go. That was hot. All right, and I'm all done. That was actually super filling, super delicious. And that's pretty much gonna wrap up that meal. So I just got back from Walmart. I had to run out and grab a few things. And also I found this lovely fruit tray. You know, we have all the essentials, AKA just pineapple. Cause while I'm getting in my Tinder swipes for the day, maybe I'll find one then everyone's happy. All right, so it is day number seven, AKA the last day. So it is February 1st, happy new month, maybe a new beginning for someone. Maybe it's gonna be a one day, who knows, right? So it is currently lunchtime. It is two o'clock for breakfast. I had my avocado with the toast again. I have to say it's pretty good, but I just find that it doesn't keep me full enough for what I'm getting, but that's fine. So I'm gonna be going and making some lemon chicken. I'm gonna do the same type of style. I'm gonna use like those low calorie noodles again and toss this in. Probably this can be the only thing to record today because, I don't know, yeah, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I'll record another dinner thing. If not, I'll just record an outro at the end, you know? So let's get to cooking. And the lemon chicken is all done. Well, lemon chicken. I don't know what they use to make it taste and have like textured meat, but I'm okay with it. Get a quick little drink. That's a decent nut. Most of the time, more of like a cashew milk type of man. Because it has five less calories, and honestly, it pretty much all just tastes the same. But had to had to give the almond milk a bit of a try, you know? I'm gonna call this my last bite of me filming for the vegan thing. Tonight I'm probably gonna have a little vegan halo top. I've been having the peanut butter swirl. That one's actually kind of decent, but I have birthday cake left and I've had it before. Not a huge fan of it, but it is what it is. At the end of the day, it's still like a little treat. So yeah, last bite right here. That's pretty much going to do it. That's me going vegan for a week. I don't, I know that I didn't film every single part, but believe me, I went vegan. Would I do it again? If I'm trying to save the planet, yes. If I'm not, probably not. Like that whole bag of that lemon chicken was like, what? Over 1200 calories. You know, that, that hurts. That hurts, like I could have replaced that with chicken breast and gotten more protein, way less calories. Now that we're back from that little interruption, as I was saying, um, yeah, I could have just used chicken breast. It would have upped my protein, lowered the calories. Like this went from, well, 1200 
calories plus because I used the full bag and it could have been 300. So that's a little way to view this. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you guys are new, subscribe for more diet challenges, lifestyle, once gyms open up, fitness content. And yeah, have a great rest of your day. Peace.